E-commerce firms and trade groups on Wednesday appreciated the new rules for the sector, noting that the norms would help create a level playing field for all sellers. But small vendors are a worried lot over the condition on vendors to sell only 25% of their products through an e-commerce platform. The monitoring and compliance mechanism of the new policy has been questioned by All India Online Vendors Association as the existing policy already bars e-commerce companies with foreign ownership from selling its own inventories and influencing pricing of products on its platform. Tightening norms for e-commerce firms like Flipkart and Amazon, the government on Wednesday took host of steps and barred them from selling products of the companies in which they have stake. The Commerce and Industry Ministry also prohibited e-commerce companies from entering into an agreement for exclusive sale of products. These changes will come into effect from February 1st this year. Indian-American Rajesh Subramanyam has been named as the President and Chief Executive Officer of US multinational courier delivery giant FedEx Express. Subramanyam, currently the Executive Vice President, Chief Marketing and Communications Officer of FedEx Corporation, will assume his new role on January 1st. The Reserve Bank of India has set up the Expert Committee on Economic Capital Framework yesterday. The expert panel will be headed by former RBI Governor Bimal Jalan. Former Deputy Governor Rakesh Mohan has been named the Vice Chairman of the committee. The other four members on the six-member panel include RBI Central Board Directors. The year 2019 could bring cheer to job seekers looking for employment opportunities, especially in the e-commerce sector. From well-funded startups like Healthians, Milk Basket, Cars24, Insta Mojo to established companies like Zomato, Oyo and Swiggy all are planning to raise their headcount by over 30%. These companies have already chalked out plans to hire over 40,000 people in the next year alone. In a rather innovative move, the catering arm of the National Transporter, Indian Railway Catering Tourism Corporation Limited, is planning to bring a next-generation system of lodging for railway passengers, pod hotels. IRCTC has proposed setting up of a pod hotel near the Mumbai Central Railway Station. The corporation wants to offer affordable, comfortable stopover options with more amenities than the usual retiring rooms. Aviation watchdog DGCA has proposed duty time limits and rest hours for air traffic services personnel wherein an individual can be on duty for up to 12 hours in a day. This is the first time the regulator has mooted duty time limits for air traffic services personnel and it also comes at a time when air traffic has been growing exponentially. Duty period will not exceed 12 hours and the aggregate of duty period will not exceed 50 hours within a defined period of 144 consecutive hours or 6 days of consecutive work, according to the draft norms. India is preparing a specific strategy for exports to each geography as part of plans to make 2019 a year when outward shipments would start driving the country's overall economic growth. Commerce and Industry Minister Suresh Prabhu has said. The minister said India's exports performance has been extremely good in the past 14 months, but he is not fully satisfied as yet.